So after thorough checking, we have fixed the mix wirings on the turbocharger outlet temperature and we also calibrate it. The next wiring will be the lube oil inlet pressure. This is a very important alarm because once the lube oil pressure drops, then the engine will shut. And without this alarm, we cannot just suppress or bypass or we cannot just inhibit or off scan the alarm just for the generator to run. So we need to find out what is the main cause of this sensor fault and let's find out. So we have found out the lube oil inlet pressure transmitter and it's connected to terminal 2930 of the terminal body of the uh, local control panel and then it will go to the generator control panel and uh, this is from the engine control cabinet it goes through 61, 62 and 64, 65 and then it says here that it goes to 4.6 so let's check 4.6 I printed out this one the 4.6 are the one on the top so let's go to the 4.6 2 3 4 4.6 and this is it terminal 309 and 310, 138, 9 and 10, and it goes to from A11 analog input module. So I was able to trace the sensors all the way to the terminal 64 and 65 to the current inverter, and everything is in good connections. Since everything is correctly wired, then I'm assuming that there might be a problem in the new sensor installed. So I am thinking of doing a different approach which will make my job easier. I will use the lube oil inlet pressure sensor of the number 3 generator and connect it directly to the number 64 and 65 of generator number 4. Since the number 3 lube oil inlet pressure transmitter is in good condition, it should give reading into our number 4 generator control panel. So I have checked the number 3 display if it gave sensor fault, so it means we are touching the right sensor. So once I connected the number 3 sensor to the number 4, then it should keep reading into our number 4 generator. This is one of my troubleshooting techniques to make my fault finding a little bit faster. So now it should give reading to the number for lube oil inlet pressure display. And so after using the number 3 sensor to our number 4 generator, it's still giving the sensor fault alarm. This means that there is a fault in the control panel or might be on the Aconis card. So I put back the connection back to our number 4 generator. And this time, I'm going to check the card 2, channel 2 of our station 2. 
please take note that it is imperative to check all the connections on our card or channels if once we pull out the terminal block there is no affected system which might affect the running generator as to in every terminal block there are four channels connected to it so i'm planning to interchange the ge number four inlet pressure to number three or number one since they are the one who's not running so a quick familiarization this means card one then the channels and the cable numbers so each terminal blocks have four channels one two three four since the sensor at fault is connected to card number two channel two that's why this one is giving a sensor error into the card number two so to check our system the running generator is the DG number 2. So we need to be very careful not to pull any terminal block which is connected to the running generator. And checking the channels, the closest which we can use is the one on the GE number 1 which is the card number one and we need to pull this terminal block so I interchange the channels of number four to number one and number one to number four as you can see as soon as I pull out the terminal block all the channels went sensor fault that is why we need to be very careful not affecting the running generator Otherwise, it will shut the engine and it will cause blackout. So after putting the whole connections from number 4 to our number 1 G lube oil inlet pressure channel, then it is still giving sensor fault. So what does this mean? It means that the fault is coming only onto our control panel it might be our PLC or the current inverter and looking at our PLC A11 module we're having red indications and looking back at our wiring diagram we are sure that the sensor is in good condition after eliminating other possible costs then we know for sure that the trouble is just coming from these two, the current inverter or the A11 module. Since I am doing a different approach, then I will pull this A11 card and interchange it to the non-running generator. So now, let's interchange this to the non-running generator. Make sure to ask permission to the chief engineer before doing this kind of approach. And review the wiring diagram and make sure that it will not affect the running generator. As you may have noticed, there is no more red indications into our A11 card after interchanging it to other card. This only means that we should be able to have readings into our Akone system now. And so there you have it. We have now reading into our lube oil inlet pressure into our number 4 generator. Since all the parameters now are having readings, then this only means that we can now test the number 4 generator. So I went on standby to check if the generator will really have readings in its parameter. PMS system is now showing that the number for DG is running. And the readings started to build up, especially the one on the turbocharger. Now we have readings in our loop oil inlet pressure and our turbocharger 
uh, outlet temperature sensor. They are not sensor called anymore. But we found another problem. During the testing, we cannot start the generator on the local control panel and remotely. So we were we were just able to start the generator through the emergency start. And because of this, we know for sure that there is also a mixed wiring. And the worst about this one is we cannot change the speed of the generator. So it looks like that we will have part number three of this generator cable tracing. So come and join me into the part three of this cable tracing of our generator number four.